Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the to-do list in a Basecamp project. And uh, I've, I've tweaked this a little bit uh, based on my uh, just learning how Basecamp works the last few weeks. And so I wanted to do a, a video to show you the kind of the standard set of checklists, to-do lists, sorry, that I'm adding to uh, my new Basecamp projects. And then uh, explain a little bit about why I made those changes. And then in the next video, in this it's probably a two-video set, uh, I'm going to show you how you can connect Slack to a Basecamp project with Zapier, uh, which is pretty slick. So... First, let me show you uh, how I'm setting up these uh, new standard to-do lists in Basecamp. So we're going to go ahead and make a new Basecamp project. And this is going to be for the uh, California Central Valley Control Network, or CCVCN. And uh, this is going to be version 2.0. So this is a project I've got to basically establish uh, survey grade state plane coordinates on PBO stations and a set of passive monuments in a couple of counties that I work in here in the valley. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And then I'm going to click on to-dos here and we'll set up our standard lists. So I think I've got four, maybe five standard lists that I'm using now. So I like in the hopper. That's for the things that need to be done uh, next. Uh, then I've been using Wrap It Up. That's for stuff that started that I really need to get finished in the very near future. Um, then I've been doing a uh, cleanup. That's kind of housekeeping tasks that I'd like to get done. Uh, but that aren't necessarily urgent. Then I've been doing a board for completed tasks. Or list for completed tasks, sorry. Um, and let's see, there's one more, I think. I think what it is. Yeah, this might actually be it. It might be these four. So uh, the way I like to order these is I put completed tasks and clean up at the bottom. And then wrap it up. These are like urgent things that I need to get finished. And then the hopper is what, what comes next. Um, and then uh, another change I've made is I'm no longer... Uh, so before I was doing something like this, I was creating a list for people. So what does Landon need to get done on the project? Uh, I'm not doing that anymore. And the reason why is um, because you can assign individual tasks to people that are on your base camp team. Uh, let me get rid of this. And so that just makes more sense. Um, it makes sense to group so that besides these four standard lists, what I would do is I would create lists for the major tasks or phases of the project. So let's just do, do one here. So I'm going to call this uh, research and planning. So this would be like phase one of this project. And then you can assign tasks to people right here. So what we want to do is we want to... Um, we're going to say identify cores and PBO, PBOs for <clears throat> inclusion in network for update. Um, and then I want to identify locations for passive control monuments to include in network for update. I want to create a static GPS session observation plan schedule. Okay, so those are all research and plannings. And then when I come in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign those tasks to myself. And you can assign due dates to that as well. Um, I'm not going to do that for this because this is this is some pro bono work that we do, some volunteer work uh, that I do. 
Um, so <laughs> it doesn't get a deadline. I get to it when I get to it. And then what I do is I just I drag this down below the standard task list. So you always see these four in this order at the top, these standard to-do lists. And then there'd be one for each phase. Um, let me just create one more phase list so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to call this initial field work. So what I want to do there is I want to say recover and set passive control monuments and create field package for GPS so we'll create these two tasks and uh, I'll probably do some more videos on this particular project this control network project so this, this stuff will make a little more sense okay so again No, I didn't get the other one. So then I can drag these down here. And then uh, what I can do is, so I would do this for, for most of the phases in the project or all of them. And then as I'm working on stuff, uh, I'm going to pull it up. So the very first thing I need to do here, this is actually after research and planning. So the very next thing I want to do is this task. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm actually going to pull both these up in the, in the hopper. Okay. And then clean up. I know I have a cleanup task already that I want to do. So I want to clean up the control report format. Let me say template. So I've got a template I use for the survey control reports on this work, and that, that needs to be cleaned up. I'll assign that to myself. So essentially, down here we have the list for all the phases of the work, the to-do list. And then I drag tasks up so they will go to in the hopper, wrap it up, or complete it as things are done. So these are kind of the four, uh, they aren't kind of, I'm working on my word whiskers. These are the four standard task lists. And then down here is the uh, to task list or to-do list based on the phases in the project. And the reason I don't need to do task lists for individual team members on this board, on, the, on this to-do, uh, set of to-do lists, is because now when you click my stuff, um, you, you get a personal list uh, broken down by project. So I don't need to duplicate that. And every team member would, would see their tasks for uh, their individual tasks. So this gets this list gets customized by the team member. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys those standard lists, standard to-do lists that I've been using. And I might change that some more as I get, get used to Basecamp, but I wanted to show you how I'm doing that. So... All right, I'm a little under 10 minutes, uh, so that's a good length for this video. So what I'll do in the next video is we're going to come in. I'm going to show you how you can use Zapier to uh, connect uh, this message board for this project to Slack. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.